Rio Grande Scenic Railroad has long been known for its excursion route through the spectacular Sangre de Cristo Mountains. With its abundant wildlife, alpine meadows, and unspoiled scenic beauty. What is less well known about the Rio Grande is that it's on its way to becoming the most energy efficient and greenest railroad in America. This year the Mountain Music Show featuring Michael Martin Murphy will be held in a natural outdoor amphitheater powered only by wind and solar. EarthTech Energy Systems is proud to have been chosen to provide the renewable energy for the first all-green high mountain concert venue in the country. And not surprisingly, you can only get there by train. We began our journey by meeting the staff and crew of the Rio Grande Railroad, who would be assisting us with our task by transporting our equipment to the top of the mountain. Work days start at 5 a.m. so the crew can load the specially equipped high rail trucks in time to be off the tracks before the passenger trains start out. The high rails could accommodate all the materials and supplies necessary for the EarthTech hybrid wind and solar system, except for one thing, wet concrete. Transporting a cement mixer and bags of sacrate for nine yards of concrete was too labor intensive. It would take five men several days to mix and shovel the amount of concrete necessary for the turbine pad. So a decision was made to bring a concrete truck to the top of the mountain. By train, of course. But this seemingly easy solution was not without problems. To begin with, the ramps at the train station were not designed for large trucks. Our concrete truck was too low to the ground to make it up the ramp without some damage. But the leak caused by hitting the ramp was soon repaired. Next began the arduous task of loading the concrete truck on the train. Ramps were laid in place for one tire at a time. This gave the driver of the concrete truck only inches of maneuverability. In fact, this task was so dangerous that Southwest Concrete brought in a special driver who was able to load the truck with only fractions of an inch to spare. Next began our two-hour commute to Fur at the top of the Sangre de Cristos. After arriving at Fur, we began transporting the concrete to the turbine site. We were not able to unload the cement truck from the train, so the concrete was carried with front end loaders. It would take close to 10 yards of concrete to support our ET5, a 5,000 watt wind turbine weighing over 3,000 pounds on a 60 foot tower. The rebar placement within each pad not only holds the concrete together, but is placed in such a way as to act as grounding rods in the event of a lightning strike. The 60-foot tower was assembled in 15-foot sections and bolted together. A unique feature of the EarthTech Energy Systems towers is the easily accessible control panel within the tower. These towers also come with a manual brake which can be used to shut the turbine down while it's being raised or in very high wind speeds. EarthTech Energy Systems uses only three-phase high-voltage wind turbines for all of our residential or commercial projects, which means our turbines provide three times more power than the more conventional single-phase turbines. Our permanent magnet generators have no moving internal parts, so they are virtually maintenance-free, a great feature when your turbine is being installed at the top of a mountain. The ET5 5,000 watt wind turbine is capable of producing enough power to completely meet the needs of an average size home. But when you're running a full sound stage and a restaurant five days a week, you can't afford to be without power. And even though our wind turbine is capable of producing significant amounts of power, it's an inconsistent power source. 
So EarthTech Energy Systems combine the power of the wind and the sun through our unique hybrid controller to provide consistent, reliable, renewable energy. Green site. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're, really, we're really pleased with it and we're also, I think, the only people who are running a steam engine in Colorado that burns recycled motor oil. So we're, we're trying to do our best here and we're glad that you're here in an off-the-grid environment, can't get here by car. As Murph said on the way up, uh, our train, uh, for your car to get the same mileage as our train, you'd actually have to get 218 miles to the gallon, and I don't think you're going to do that. So welcome to FUR, and we're going to start out, we got three hours of music, great music here. We're going to start out with our local favorite from Monte Vista, Fred Hargrove. One of the things I really like about the concert series is that the kind of performers we have walk through the train. They don't just hide out in the club car. They walk into the dome car and the open car, and they talk to people, they sign autographs. It's really a very enjoyable way to spend a day. And so today we had 400, over 450 people ride the two trains that went up to the top of the mountain. And they saw for the first time our, you know, our wind energy working. So we're really excited about that. This year I knew that they had gone green. They had a, a, a wind turbine. And I wanted to see if it was for real, and it was. And uh, got up, same beautiful park, same beautiful music but we did not have the smell of the nauseous fuel anymore. The wind was blowing, the generator, or the uh, turbine was going, and we had power for the whole uh, performance. So it was a great experience, great mountains, great music, great scenery. Awesome concert site. Now totally green concert site. I think that's something for Alamosa and La Vida and this whole county and all of Colorado to be proud of that uh, you are able to boast this concert site. It's just wonderful. The train ride coming up here through beautiful scenery and we even saw a cinnamon bear along the side of the train as we came up. There's hardly a better way that I can think of to spend a day. We have a good train ride and we have a very unique setting and marvelous entertainment. Well, as a musician, of course, I always want great acoustics. And uh, when you're out on an off-grid site like this, the first thing you worry about is those generators that are running that are powering everything. We don't have that to worry about anymore. We got a turbine and a solar, and that was my vision to get that up here so we could turn off everything and it could be perfectly quiet. And it sounds great up here and practicality has driven this entire thing. It's just a darn good idea to do this up here in the mountains. If you want to make a living, you got to put on a good show. 